Hello friends! It's Saturday and here comes our brand new release. Isn't it great? Today, as always, we have a lot to share with you, so we urge you to support the channel with likes and subscriptions. As for that moment, we proceed to begin. Let's get going! Napoli's Luciano Spalletti was named the coach of September in Serie A. His team won four matches out of four. Jordi Alba has recovered from his injury and will be able to return to Barcelona for the match against Atletico, writes the press office of the Blaugranas. Klopp's teams have helped me to become a better manager. Jurgen pushed me to another level. Pep Guardiola is quoted by the BBC. Donny van de Beek wants to leave Manchester United as soon as possible. The agent offered the Dutchman services to Real Madrid, according to Defensa Central. Atletico intends to return Lucas Hernandez, but it is not yet known whether Bayern is open to negotiations. Sergio Ramos is going to miss the PSG vs. Run match on Sunday. The Spaniard continues to recover from a calf injury, Lee Persian reports. Milan defender Alessandro Florenzi underwent meniscus surgery and is out of action for a month. Raheem Sterling has no intention to leave Manchester City yet, the Telegraph informs. Athletic Bilbao striker Inaki Williams made his 203rd consecutive La Liga appearance, setting a new record in La Liga history. I'm happy to work with Massimiliano Allegri. This is important for my progress. He's a manager with incredible experience. Doesn't quote Juventus defender Matis de Ligt. Tottenham will sack Nuno Espirito Santo in case Spurs lose to Aston Villa on Sunday. Ronald Koeman treated me with no respect, as if I were some 15-year-old boy. I came home in tears, admitted Luis Suarez in an interview with Diario Us. Erling Holland will miss Norway's October games due to muscle damage. The matter was told by the head coach of Borussia Dortmund, Marco Rose. Yes, I'm longing to be in Barcelona. Let's see in what way I could return to the club. BBC quotes the words of Andreas Iniesta. Ajax has signed a new agreement with defender Lisandro Martinez. It has been extended until June 2025. Manchester City is in contact with Villarreal's defender Pau Torres to discuss a possible transfer. The source is Marca. The best center forward in the world? I think Lewandowski. Robert has everything for it, claims former Juventus and France striker David Trezeguet. Idrissa Gaye became the player of the month in Liga 1. The Who scored portal gave the Senegalese an average score of 7.95. There were no contacts with Barcelona. I want to finalize my contract with the Belgian national team, but I realize that many circumstances can happen along the way. HLN quotes the words of Roberto Martinez. Former Chelsea and Liverpool striker Daniel Sturridge was transferred to Australian Perth Glory. Darwin Nunes from Benfica got on the radars of Atletico, Inter and Milan, record writes. Will Kylian Mbappe win the Ballon d'Or in the future? Probably yes. Telefood quotes the head coach of the French national team, Didier Deschamps. Barcelona has no money to invite Antonio Conte, notifies La Gazzetta dello Sport. James preferred money and a comfortable life over football and competition. He didn't want to work hard, but at the same time demanded a place in the first team, said Everton head coach Rafael Benitez in an interview with Daily Express. The official world release of Football Simulator FIFA 22 has taken place. Will you purchase it, friends? Atletico striker Mateus Cunha suffered a thigh injury. The Brazilian is about to miss the upcoming club and national team games. Lukaku will be the Premier League's best scorer this season. Romelu will score more than Cristiano Ronaldo. This is the prediction of the former England defender Glenn Johnson. Lawrence Insignia will renew the contract with Napoli depending on whether the Partenopei can finish in the Champions League zone in the end of the season, writes the Neapolitan newspaper Il Mattino. Real Madrid will not be able to count on Gareth Bale in October. The Welshman will not return to the pitch until November due to hamstring injury. We know Ronaldo's worth, but what matters most in Juventus? We are working not to make his absence felt, Juventus midfielder Juan Cuadrado noted in an interview with La Stampa. The first games of the new match day in the top European leagues occurred yesterday. The results are in front of you. And now, we are to dive into the main news of the release. PSG seriously claims the forward of Borussia Dortmund Erling Holland, according to La Gazette de la Sport. The source writes that next summer the Parisians will try to buy the Norwegian in case they do lose Kylian Mbappe. The Parisians are already preparing funds for Holland and are confident that they will provide the amount of 75 million euros in compensation prescribed in Erling's contract with Borussia. 
What's important? A great plus for a big club from France is an excellent relationship between the sporting director of the club Leonardo and Holland's agent Minoriola. By the way, requests from the player's representative are increasing every day. An update from Football Italia says that recently Raiola decided to demand a salary of 50 million euros per season for his client, instead of the 30 million set a few months earlier. Although even this amount will not scare off PSG. The Red and Blues expect that they will have no competitors in the battle for the Norwegian forward. Initially, the club was afraid to compete with Real, but now the leadership of the Parisians is convinced of Monterey directing all sources to the signing of Mbappe and putting the option with Holland as sight. Next up, we have a fresh update from Catalan journalist Gerard Romero on the next Barcelona manager. An insider found out that Blaugrana's president Joan Laporte is going to appoint Andre Pirlo, replacing Ronald Koeman, though other people in the leadership are no supporters of the Italian's candidacy. Pirlo is a personal bet of Joan Laporta. The Blaugrana president feels he has the gift of discovering the coaches and thinking about it seriously. The management, however, says they have better options on the table for the Barcelona bench. Laporta reflects on Pirlo but doesn't have the support of sports directors and technicians, Romero wrote. Even more information in favor of Pirlo is given by the publishers of Cadena Ser and Cadena Cope. The first source states that Barcelona is definitely not negotiating with the head coach of the Belgian national team, Roberto Martinez, while the second excludes the River Plate coach Marcelo Gallardo, whose name appeared in Spanish newspapers lately from Laporta's list. And here's the piece from Diario As. Barca has established contract with Andrea Pirlo, already making an official offer. It is already on the table, but the former Juventus coach took time to think a bit. Well, it appears Ronald Koeman is losing his temper. So far, the Barcelona manager held the press conference before the game against Atletico and had a say in what he thinks of the criticism in his address. Second, the club have said nothing to me. I've learned that the president was at the training ground this morning, but I have not seen him. Even though he didn't tell me anything, I have eyes and ears. I'm tired of defending myself. It still doesn't make sense. One day, I would like to talk about everything I think. You are asking what kind of relationship I am with the president? I'm not going to answer that question. Are they showing disrespect to me? I don't think it is necessary to answer that either. I don't know what another coach can do in my place. Should I speculate on this topic? Nothing will change in the lineup until winter. If I had a bag of money, Lionel Messi would still be on our team and I would invite other players to play in a more dominant style. But now, I need to work with what we have. Kuman concluded. Looks like Cristiano Ronaldo is soon to replace Ole Gunnar Solskjaer at the head of Manchester United. This feeling came after the news from ESPN that the Norwegian manager had a meeting with the Portuguese, where they discussed the Red Devils' tactics. According to the source, Ronaldo talked to Solskjaer and his coaching staff, providing some tips aimed at increasing the team's speed in the opposition half of the pitch. Cristiano believes that his teammates should move the ball faster when attacking, and he in turn will be determined to score even more often, bringing maximum benefit to United. It's noted that Solskjaer thoroughly listened to Ronaldo and has already made some changes to the training process. Friends, check out the recommended videos from our other projects. The content will surely delight you. And that was Football News. Thank you all for watching, have a nice one, and see you in a bit.